so maybe there's something in the trunk that does something. Not totally sure. Нет, концы очень туго. А нет, один очень слабо. Я его снял. See that the, the lights Черный in the снял, trunk just went off. Oh, uh, no, what it seems to be at this time is uh, something called an immobilizer. And the immobilizer... Here, why don't you step out of the road? <clears throat> the job of the immobilizer is to um, cut or interfere with the power between the battery and the engine. So I believe it's going to make sure that the car doesn't start. And we need to somehow like turn that immobilizer back off. Didn't mechanics just check this car out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The mechanics just gave it a clean bill of health. We have the receipt, but it's not a it's not the it's not a major mechanical issue. It's just uh seems like it's um something has been activated that we need to turn off. I don't know. Like it doesn't seem like that big a deal to me. It seems like there's such just some switch. But we don't know where it is right now. Alright, as long as we can go home sometime, that'd be nice. As long as we what? Can go home. Yeah, we're gonna go home, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, we will. Okay. So, what's the, uh, what's, what's going on? Oh, a loose connection? Okay, so it's something over here, I suppose, right? Yeah. This is not the original battery from, uh, from Beamer. Oh, this is where the battery goes? Yeah. Okay, so this is the battery that I'm looking at right now. All right. And um, so what's what's happening now? I can never set it. Oh, okay. And I'm gonna put it back and start. Okay. Great. What's that, like a little piece of tin foil or something? Yeah, make sure it's connected. Okay. Right. Yeah, this is something that I'll be sure to get checked out as soon as I bring the car home. I'll uh, tell, them, tell whoever my mechanic ends up being uh, what the problem is what what happens here and hopefully they'll be able to explain it to me and um, help me know how to fix this if this issue ever arises while I'm alone for right now I'm very grateful that there's someone who's knowledgeable and handy uh, who can uh, resolve this problem so um, looks like we should be able to get back on the road shortly I'm also grateful that uh, the driver was able to identify that there was some sort of problem occurring and uh, was able to get the car pulled over safely somewhere um, to in inspect and discover what the source of the issue was. Uh, some people are willing to just ignore problems and that tends to make them worse, so I'm glad that we're addressing this one immediately. I want to also thank Renee for being so patient. She's been terrific uh, as, as my companion here this adventurous July afternoon. I'll be sure to um, give her a tip for her cab services. Now we're going to try it out and see if, uh, see if the engine will turn on. anything yet. Boy, I have no idea what it could be. Strange enough, now it shows out of gas. Oh, 
notice that. Uh, there's people there as always. Oh, we need to get gas now. Okay. Uh, so I could send Renee to go uh, get some gas. So. We need or a we can could, too. Yeah, we'll need a can. Do they maybe they sell cans at the gas station or something? Yeah. Okay. Hey, Renee. What's up? Um, are you able to go to the nearest gas station and get some gas in a can? Got uh, some cash there. That should get you um, a gas can and just fill it up with uh, the highest quality fuel they have. I can handle that. Okay, and you can return here? You know where we are? You saw 62? Yep. Um, yeah, it looks like we're right at uh, junction with 95. So this is, uh, you can make it back here. All right. Okay, do you know where the nearest gas station is? Are you able to find one on your phone? Yeah. I saw one that was, uh, said it was seven minutes from here. Um, okay. So if you see one close by, that'd be great. Um, sixty-two. Yeah. I think if you go this direction, let's see the gas. Do you see any gas stations? Yeah, I looked one up on my phone. I saw one seven minutes away. I think she's looking one up right now. What is the nearest gas station to my location? Now we need the can with the, like a little uh, nose. With a spout? Do they have a phone number? Um. I'll want to give them a call and ask them if they sell a gas can. Might want to look up this address right here on Google. Does it have a name of the business? Yeah, it was like Stop and Shop something. Uh, yeah, Stop yeah. and Shop Fuel Station. Yeah, that's the one I found. What's their number? Here. Okay. Thanks. No problem, buddy. Hi there, um, checking to see if you sell gas cans. Yeah, like if uh, someone breaks down and they need to refill their fuel on the road, uh, that you would use a gas can. All right, could we uh, borrow the backup one? I've broken down here on East 62 and I'm just out of gas, I think. Okay, great. Well, I'm gonna send someone over in a white Hyundai and she's gonna come and pick that up, uh, put some premium fuel in it and uh, then we'll bring it back to you. Thank you. Yeah, they have one that they lend to people. Okay. Thank you, Renee. Um, so, uh, Renee found a gas station nearby that they will lend a gas can. They don't sell them, but they have one that they can lend out. Uh, what is that? It's uh, seven minutes away, apparently, so. Get yep. behind the wheel and try to start it, right? Sure, sure. Keep turning it and I'll um, I'll see if maybe there's a Okay. We're gonna check for some loose connections back there. I'll set this camera up here.
you turn it on, it still shows on, on a zero, gas on zero, right? Let me check. Yes. Okay, yeah, just leave it there. So it sounds like it might be an issue as simple as being out of gas. Uh, if that's the case, we'll, we'll get that uh, fixed in about probably 20 minutes or less. Uh, Renee is on her way to the local gas station that's about uh, seven minutes from here. So she should uh, fill up the tank and be right back. We're all ready to fill up some gas. There's nothing much else to do here, uh, just wait. So I'm going to take a seat inside the car and, and wait. 